Hey gang, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering With Tech. Today we are going to talk about using a Chromebook as a guest in a Zoom meeting. Check this out. Inside a Chromebook, if you look, here's all the buttons that we're going to talk about today. When you first join in a Zoom, you're going to see this splash screen that asks you to join your audio by computer. When you click the little carrot down here next to the microphone, you're going to get this menu that pops up. On this menu, you'll be able to select a specific microphone or speaker. Next, click the carrot next to the video and you can select the specific camera you want or video settings. When you select the audio settings or video settings, the same pop-up menu comes up. Here are the settings for video when you sit the video button or the first in this menu when you get in here. And here are the options for audio. Next window, we have the accessibility, which is all of the meeting controls and shortcuts. You have a window for statistics. The last one is about, and it has the version number of Zoom. Next, we hit the invite button, and this will bring up the invite screen. You can copy URL or copy invitation. Also, send directly to your Gmail or your Yahoo Mail. Now we click Participants and a menu pops up to the right side of your screen. Now we're going to take a look at some of the buttons in the Participants part. Up at the top left you see a carrot or a down arrow and it pulls up a menu of Close or Pop Out. Here's what it looks like when you pop the screen out. And if you notice a little arrow up here that shows you that it's popped out. So while in participants, you can hover over your name. You can unmute since we're muted. And then you can also rename. You see this box that pops up when you go to rename. And that's where we can change our name of whatever we want. Since I signed in with the same name on both devices, now I want to change the name to one of them to Michael's Chromebook. So let's look at some of the cool things you have down at the bottom here. We can lower our hand and raise our hand, and this is where the host can see that you've raised your hand. Keep in mind the yes, no, go slower, and go faster buttons will not be seen by the host unless he has the participants window open. When you click on the more button, you see other options like thumbs down, thumbs up, applause, gone for coffee, and hey, time out, or it's time. Keep in mind, none of these are seen by the host unless he has the participants window open. Now we're gonna click the chat button down at the bottom and you can see the window pane on the right. Like participants, you can pop out the chat or close the chat. If you click on the down arrow or the carrot next to everyone, you will see a choice of everyone or whoever is in the meeting with you. This has every single person in the meeting, so you can do individual chat or talk to everyone. Keep in mind, this is a setting that the host allows or does not allow. This view right here is when you have participants and chat open at the same time. This is the participant section and this is the chat section. By clicking the button up in the top left, you can see a menu pops out. This gives you all the information about the meeting. It has the ID link, etc., etc., the password, and also you can copy that URL and send it. Up next to the meeting information, you see an encryption little green icon lets you know that your meeting is encrypted. 
Right now we are in gallery view. You can see the participant and host side by side. If the top right corner says speaker view, that means you want to switch to speaker view or go to speaker view. Once you are in speaker view, you will see the person speaking, in this case the host, in the main viewing area. Anyone else in the meeting will be at the top in a film strip style with about only four people showing that will have arrows pointing to and fro to go further in to see more people. If you notice at the top, you see the gallery view. This means that you would like to switch to gallery view or go to gallery view. If we have a look up in the top corner for settings, you see that this is the exact same settings we had for video and audio. If we look up in the top right again, you see these four little arrows that will take you to full screen. And this is what it looks like when you're at full screen. Right now we are in gallery view. The person speaking has a green border. If you notice other folks on your screen, they have a pin. You can click this pin and it will select them. When someone is pinned, it looks like this. The pin turns green. To unpin them, just click the pin again. Keep in mind, pinning is just for you, the viewer. Any other participant can pin their own person and it does not affect you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, if you would, please check out a couple of these other videos that are over here that we'll have on there for you. Thanks for watching.